Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Jen Sorensen and in today's video, I have a ad hoc cooking video. This is something that I just whipped up yesterday and I happened to film it and I thought you would like to see how it's made. I just had a bunch of stuff that was, you know, getting close to their use by date for produce. I did a Misfits Market Box for the first time and I used a bunch of the produce in that and I loved it. So you'll see some of what I make in this video and we'll come back here and see how it is the next day because this is a versatile salad that I kind of whipped together with just whatever I had. You'll hear me talk a little bit about some different alternatives that I would recommend, you know, depending on what you have in your fridge or your pantry. So let's see how I whipped together this chicken quinoa salad and then we'll come back here and see how it is the next day. All right, let's make this up as we go along because that's typically what I do with my cooking. What you can see here is I made my um, typical lemon vinaigrette. And I'm gonna make that for you now because that's gonna be my dressing for my salad as well. Um, but I've got my chicken marinating and I just put that in a little bit ago. Um, I wanna get it a little bit marinated so let me show you how I make it. In this bowl, you can see I have the juice of one lemon. So exact same thing that I did here. Juice of one lemon. And now I have this Dijon mustard here. And I'm going to add in about a teaspoon, maybe a tablespoon. You know, however spicy or zingy you want it. And then some olive oil. So this is probably going to be about a quarter of a cup, maybe a little less in there. Next up, I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. I like kosher salt or sea salt. I actually do not have any iodized salt in my entire house. So now I'm just gonna whip this up and that mustard is going to help emulsify this. I like a Dijon. You want something other than a yellow mustard. Something's gonna really help to whip it together. I probably should use a different bowl, but let me kind of angle this down, whip this up. You can add pepper. I'm not a pepper fan. I don't like black pepper at all. I will use crushed red pepper instead, but I hate black pepper. Again, personal preference. You can add, I will sometimes add a sweetener to this, like a little bit of honey. If I'm doing something different, if you're vegan, you can do agave. That's another good option for this dressing. And then this becomes my go-to salad dressing. All right, let's taste that. Perfect. That is actually pretty tart because I was probably under the amount that I need for the olive oil, but I want that tart with what I'm going to add in. So here's what I'm going to do next. I've got my chicken marinating here and you can see it's slightly starting to change color just a little bit. Like it doesn't totally look like the chicken color. I'm gonna grill this up. It's dang cold out, so I'm gonna just grill this in a saute pan um, here in my kitchen. Otherwise, I would love doing this on the grill. I'm gonna cook this up. I've cut up some tomatoes. I've got some arugula, and I've got some um, quinoa cooking up. So let's, or really just heating up. Let me get this cooked, and I'll come back and show you how I make this improv salad here. Okay, you may be able to hear the last chicken breast finishing up in the pan right now. A little sizzle. I just turned the heat off. It's pretty much ready, but um, you know, want to make sure. In here, I have about a cup and a half of cooked quinoa, which, um, spoiler alert, is just a microwave in the bag quinoa. So um, yeah, this is a pretty simple recipe. I have two tomatoes cut over here. I've got the sauce you saw me make, which that does not want to stay. Got my chicken. This one's been resting. I have a little bit of arugula here, which arugula goes so good with the, um, the lemon vinaigrette. That's why it says lemony arugula. I got my tomatoes, the lemon, and the arugula through Misfits Market, which has been great so far. Um, I'll include a, a link in the description for 25% off if you guys want. And then I've got some Kalamata olives. I think I want to take a few of these out and chop them up. 
I'm letting my chicken rest a little bit before I cut it up and put it in the bowl. This is probably gonna make a couple servings for me. So I'm making this now, I'll have it for lunch and then I will have it again tomorrow for lunch. And it's only gonna get better as I really should probably be using a fork here, but you know what? I live alone, it's just me. I'm the only one eating these olives, so it doesn't really matter. We're good. Okay, wipe my fingers off. And I like to chop up my olives a little bit just because I think that it um, spreads out the saltiness of it. You know, sometimes in these kinds of salads, it's a lot. So I'm gonna chop these up and then we're going to cut up our chicken. Once we do that, we're pretty much ready to combine all of this. This is enough. I don't need a ton of olives here. So we've got that, olives. Okay, so my meat, meats are, juices are running nice here. I'm gonna cut this, ooh, look at that. All right, I'm just gonna cut these. I like small bite-sized pieces. You can cut them into whatever size you'd like. Cut them up, let me just taste the chicken. Mmm, that lemon flavor is so pronounced. Mmm, that's so good. We'll cut that up. Yes, that's good. My uh, bigger knife is, knives knives are all in the dishwasher so I'm stuck using this one but you make do the thing with this is I had some cucumbers ate them up I would add those in if I had it I would add in some feta too if I have had that but I don't um, I do have what do I have I have some Monterey Jack here that I might add in we'll see um, I might give it a taste and then cut it. Okay, perfect. That is cooked. All right. I want to cut these in sections here. This way is a little hot. I'm going to get a fork to cut this. There we go. All right. And I'm just cutting these again, bite-sized pieces here. If you were a vegetarian, you could do this with eggplant, maybe. Um, tofu, absolutely. But you just grill it up, get something hearty. Ooh, you know what would be really good with this? I'm not an eggplant fan. Grilled portobello mushrooms. That would be fantastic with this. I love me some mushrooms. I've got a mushroom recipe coming up that I wanna share with you eventually. I'm just waiting for some ingredients because it's hard to come by some of this stuff in uh, the stores. So waiting for that to come in stock. But yeah, this is easily made vegetarian or vegan if you wanted to. Really the only thing that's not vegan here in this entire thing is the chicken and if I decide to add some cheese. So I probably could have used a bigger cutting board too, but like I've said before, I keep it real here. Get on there. Okay, we're going to, once I finish cutting all of this chicken up, because the nice thing about this is that I can um, just not even need a knife when it comes time to actually eating this, just a fork and a bowl and I'm good. Okay, everything's cut up here. Don't need my knife anymore. So we'll throw that in the dishwasher. And we're just gonna combine everything here into our bowl with our quinoa. And we're just gonna try and get everything in the bowl here and not on the counter. Okay, I got one tomato on the counter. Not bad, you know, could be worse. All right, in the bowl. Mix this up, get everything in here. And then I'm gonna add a nice handful of arugula here. Just a little bit. Oh, we got some uh, other stuff. Okay, and there's some lemony sorrel is what it says is also in here, but mainly arugula. I don't know. 
a cup or so of that, just, just a little bit of greens. You could do all of this without the greens and then add them at the very end, like put everything on top of some greens too. I like to mix it all in because I kind of like these to get a little bit wilty. And then finally, give this final little stir, add our dressing throughout. That chicken, the warm chicken, the slightly warm quinoa, all of that is gonna kind of absorb this and make it fantastic. If you make this in advance, you may wanna have a little bit of lemon juice set aside because I find it doesn't always stay as tangy the next day. And I say that like I've made this before, I'm kind of making this up, but I use this dressing constantly for different kinds of salads. So I've used this dressing before and you may need to amp up the tanginess of the acidity of the lemons. All right, let's go in here, get, okay, that's a good bite of everything. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Mm. All right, I'm gonna dish this up and I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save half of this tomorrow for lunch. I'll check in with you tomorrow to see how this holds up overnight. All right, so I am literally just taking the cover, the plastic wrap off of the salad. Here it is the next day. So you can see the arugula is a little wilted, which I kind of like that when it's a little wilty in some of these salads. Um, but this is where if you wanted to hold off and just put this on top of a bed of lettuce, arugula, spinach, anything like that. And then the next day, if you're gonna have it, just do that again. So I haven't tried this today. I want to see how it tastes with the, um, how acidic it is. Would it need a little bit more lemon juice? Is it going to need anything else the second day? Is it more flavorful? Let's, let's take a bite. I've got um, tomato, arugula, quinoa, and chicken all in one bite here. And um, we'll see. Off the bat, I'm getting the nuttiness of the quinoa. Which is actually why I did not add any nuts to this. You could. This might need a little bit more lemon juice, but I kind of, day one, I get the lemon and the acidity off the bat. Day two, it becomes that flavor that finishes it off. So I'm getting that lemon, that tanginess to it, but it's not as bright. It's more kind of drawn out if that makes any sense. I love food, as you guys know by now probably. So the way I'm describing the flavors, it's definitely mellowed out a little bit and that's what's drawing out that acidity a little bit more. I might add a squirt of lemon. If you don't have any more lemons, you can always add a little bit of vinegar or something if you want or just enjoy this as is because it's delicious. I'm super happy, I just got back from a run so this is going to fill me up and yes, I am just going to eat out of the bowl that I made this in because I hate doing the dishes. And if I can have one less dish to clean, then I will. So I hope you guys like this. Let me know if you make something or you do something similar. If you added anything to it, changed it in any way, because this is super simple, versatile, and it's something that just look and see what you have in your fridge and your pantry and go from there. So until next time, please get out there, create something beautiful or delicious. Have a fantastic day. I will see you guys real soon.